it looks like that, you know, that there's evil people making evil plans and good people making good plans. But there's really just their patterns. There's conditioning and then there's the conditions that arise within that. And uh, or there's conditions which conditioning arises, however you want to put it. But one way or the other, it's just it's just this cog working with this cog in a relative sort of way. That's true within relativity. It's not true in the absolute. As the absolute, there's no differentiation. Relativity, there's differentiation. So I can tell a story over here. Just doesn't hold water over here. And I can see a profound truth from this mindset. It will not travel to this one. And that's one of our chief errors in life is that especially people on the spiritual path is they have they have absolute seeings or sightings or viewings or experiences, awakenings, whatever. They have absolute experiences. And you can't even express that in the relative. I can't tell you what an awakening is like if you hadn't been one. I can tell you what it looks like. I can tell you what it feels like but it's still not going to get the message across to you. You're going to, because you're never, because you're so blindsided by an awakening because we're all waiting for the character to either wake up or the character to wake back up or the character to wake up some more. Uh, the character's not, uh, that might, there's something wrong with my awakening, the way it's going. Hell, it's not even your awakening. It's awakeness's awakening. Let things be as they are.